Hey, good morning, world. This is Dr. Rico Short, the Canal Specialist to the Stars, man, on this fabulous Friday, man. I just got a short message I want to share with you, man. I just want to encourage you to let you know that God is in the business of restoration. I don't care if you lost a loved one, if you lost a job, if you lost something in your marriage. God is a specialist, just like I'm a specialist in root canal therapy. I can do a pain-free root canal. I can get you, you know, fixed up. And as they say in the country, in a jiffy, man, God can do that for you, man. God specializes in giving you beauty for action. So whatever you lost, man, trust God that he can rebuild the ruins better than it was before. Have anybody ever saw a building get demolished? You know, have to blow up a building or a stadium. And it looks messy and it's ruined and it's smoke and it's dust everywhere. But guess what? Once that building get deconstructed and that new building starts, that new building is going to be better than an old building in technology and the foundation, everything. A lot of times God will allow, oh, come on, Holy Spirit, will allow something in your life to get destroyed. But it's not because he's trying to hurt you. A lot of times he's trying to help you. He's trying to get you off of whatever that idol may be. <laughs> and as a believer, God doesn't want to share a couch with you. He wants to be on the throne. So it's a difference between allowing God to be your Lord versus God to be your friend. Because friends share couches. But if God is your Lord and Savior, It's only one person that sits on the throne of your heart, and that's him. And when you don't allow him to do that because of his love, sometimes things will happen because he's just trying to get your attention. So do you think right now what you're going through, he may be trying to get your attention, not because he's trying to hurt you. (laughs) No, he's trying to help you. He's trying to Get your focus off these external things so that you can be focused on what's more important. His love for you, his grace for you, his mission for you. The reason why you're here, he wanna help you tap into that purpose. So whatever you're going through right now, whatever ruins that you are experiencing, trust God and allow him to rebuild that. I know that for a fact because it has happened in my life. See, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you right now from my backyard from the same place two years ago that I lost vision in my eye. I went blind in one eye on a freak accident, on a vacation with my family, going down a water slide, hydroplane. My right thumb went through my left eyeball and practically knocked it out. And I was blind. And I thought I was going to just wake up and it was going to go away. And it never did. So I was going through a deep, dark place. And that's the time I had to surrender to God. I had to say, God, you know what? All this stuff, (laughs) without my vision, without me being able to see, it's nothing. It's nothing. So I have to depend on you, not only to give me physical vision, but spiritual vision. I didn't know how this thing was going to end up. Man, I was, I was... I couldn't work for seven months, man. I was blind in one eye for months. And as a dentist, man, you can't be blind in one eye and work on folks. But God was doing something internal, something I couldn't see with my physical eye, but my spiritual eye. And he just wanted to let me know that he's with me and he's going to restore and give me beautiful ashes. So right now, two years, God has done more than what? I had before. He's given me beauty for ashes. You know, when I was going through that eye injury, God allowed me to get closer in, to my wife in marriage. We were able to have time to do a re-engaged marriage class. And other than that, I wouldn't be able to do that because I was always on the road lecturing and speaking or, or writing articles. I was always busy, busy, busy. But that time that I had, it allowed me to spend quality time with my wife and my family. And it gave me a reset. Some of you guys are going through a lot right now. And it might just mean you just need to reset. 
allow me to refocus with God and refocus with my family. And a lot of times we go through things in life and it's simply for us to refocus and to prioritize what's more important. And I can tell you this for a fact. If you put God first and you put Jesus in your life, man, he's going to give you beauty for ashes. Nothing happens to you is by accident. How are you going to use that? Are you going to use that pain to get discouraged? Are you going to use that pain to quit? Are you going to use that pain to draw you closer to your source, closer to God? Because the Bible says that God owns everything. He said all the silver and the cattle is his, the, 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 the cattle in a thousand hills is his, the gold and the silver is mine, says the Lord. And oftentimes, man, we are his children. He wants to give us those things. But when those things have us, when our priority gets off track, when our focus gets off track, man, a loving God wants to get us on track. And so today, man, I just want to share my testimony. Two years ago, man, I was... As the Bible says, I was blind in one eye. I couldn't see. I was losing everything, practice everything. I actually put my practice up for sale, folks, because I thought it was over. But God, in his grace and mercy, because of what Jesus did on the cross, he restored me. He gave me beauty for ashes. And now my practice is stronger than it has ever been. My marriage is stronger than it has ever been. My relationship with God is stronger than it's ever been. So I just want to encourage someone out there who's going through a tough time right now is just turn your focus to God, man. Allow the love of God found in the finished work of Jesus Christ to change you and to change your situation. I love you. I'm praying for you on this fabulous Friday, man, that that you just stay focused, man, and you just stay in the in the heart of God because God loves you with so much love that he don't want to see you in a bad situation. And he wants to give you beauty for ashes. So that's my word for you today. Just just, just meditate on that. That God loves me so much. He wants to give me beauty for all of my ashes. And it doesn't matter who caused it. It can be a fault that you've caused yourself. It can be a fault like me. I, I didn't do anything you know, wrong to to have an accident happen to my eye. But God allowed me to walk through that, to see that he's faithful. (laughs) He's faithful, man, because of that eye accident, man, it allowed me to birth a book called In the Eye of a Storm that's touching lives all over the world. Beauty for ashes, man. That's what he does. He gives us beauty for ashes. For all that we go through, he gives us beauty for ashes, man. So today, I just want to encourage you that the love of God give you beauty for ashes. Is, is it okay if I pray for you right now? Those that are watching me live right now, those that are going to watch me later, I just want to pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, those that can hear me and see me right now or later on, Lord, I pray that you give them beauty for ashes. Whatever they're going through on their job, give them beauty for ashes. Whatever they're going through in their marriage, Give them beauty for ashes. Whatever situation they're going through with their children, give them beauty for ashes. Whatever financial situation they're dealing with right now, give them beauty for ashes. Whatever health situation they're dealing with right now, give them beauty for ashes. Why? Because that's what you do. You are an awesome God. You are amazing God. You don't lie. You always cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. All the promises in Christ Jesus is yes and amen. And if it's not happening now, it's going to happen in the future. We have a promise from you. God, you love us just as much as you love Jesus. And you see us without spot, wrinkle, or blemish in Jesus. It doesn't matter what we're facing. It doesn't matter what kind of addiction we're facing. It does not matter what financial situation we're facing. It does not matter what this world is going through. Lord, that we know that you are close to us closer than us, then we are even closer to ourselves. And it doesn't matter what happens on this side of the world. Well, we know that eventually we're going to be translated into your heavenly kingdom and live life with you for eternity. That you said that there will be no more tears, no more sorrow, 
and no more pain. And we thank you for that. We hold on to that promise as a gift. So let everybody know, Lord, let their heart right now that can hear me and see me right, let their heart be settled right now. Whatever situation they're facing, I call it settled in Jesus' name. Love you, praying for you, and I hope that you have and you experience, like I have many, many times before, the beauty for ashes. Grace life. Peace.